Let us now see how the splicing is regulated by different activators and repressors. So, proteins that regulate splicing bind to specific sites called exonic or intronic splicing enhancers that is ESE or ISE or exonic or intronic silencers that is ESS or ISS. The former enhance and the later repress splicing at nearby splice sites. So, nearby jo bhi splice site aayegi, wahaan pe ye ya to enhance karenge ya phir usko repress karenge. You have already encountered an, uh, enhancers and the SR proteins that bind to them. Indeed, these elements and proteins are important in directing the splicing machinery to many exons even when alternative splicing is not involved. In addition, in the example of T antigen splicing uh, as described earlier, it was an SR protein that ensured that alternative splicing take place. But this protein family, which is large and diverse, has specific roles in regulating alternative splicing as well. Directing the splicing machinery to different splice sites under different conditions. Thus the presence or activity of a given SR protein can determine whether a particular splice site is used in a particular cell type or a particular stage of the development. So, uh, this is SR protein that determines that uh, in which type of cell or in what stage of the cell cycle uh, this splicing uh, may be regulated. The SR proteins bind RNA using a domain. For example, the well characterized RNA recognition motif RRM. Each SR protein has another domain which is rich in arginine and his uh, serine and this domain is called an RS domain. The RS domain found at the carboxy terminal of the uh, this protein, you know the both the terminals carboxy and amino terminal. So, this uh, is present at the carboxy terminal end of the protein, mediates interactions between the SR protein and the proteins within the splicing machinery, recruiting that machinery to a nearby splice site. So, the uh, uh, RS domain is the spliceosome ke andar jo proteins hai, unke saath interact karta hai, aur is tarah se us spliceosome machinery ko kisi khas jagah pe recruit karta hai ya wahan pe bind karwata hai. This Activator regulates the alternative splicing of a set of pre-mRNAs in the fly ovary. It works by binding to sites near the three prime splice site of specific exons in those pre-mRNAs and recruiting the U2AF splicing factor. Most silencers are recognized by members of the heterogeneous nuclear ribonucleoprotein HNRNP family. These bind RNA but lack the RS domains and thus cannot recruit the splicing machinery. So, in may be jo bind to ye kar sakte hain, lekin ye RNA spliceosome machinery ke saath bind nahi kar sakte. Is liye ye spliceosome machinery ko wahan pe recruit nahi kar sakte. Instead, by blocking specific sites, splice sites, they repress the use of those sites. So, they, they are repressors. In case of DSCAM of uh, Drosso, Drosophila, for example, HRP36 inhibits inclusion of exon 6 variants in the mRNA. Another example is HNRNPA1, which binds to an exonic silencer element 
within an axon of the HIV TAT pre mRNA and represses the inclusion of that axon in the final mRNA. By binding to its site, the repressor blocks binding of the activator SC35, which is an SR protein, to a nearby enhancer element. In this case, blocking is not direct. The two binding sites do not overlap, but HNRNPA1 promotes cooperative binding of the additional molecules of HNRNPA1 to adjacent sequences spreading over the enhancer site. When present, another SR protein which is SF2ASF can overcome this repression because it has a higher affinity for the enhancer sequence than does SC35 and therefore displaces the repressor which is bound there. 